Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea and I am a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And I know that there are a lot of new viewers here today watching this video, hopefully. So I have gotten quite a few new subscribers recently right after posting my five part bin series. So if you've come along since then, thank you so much for joining my little friend group here on YouTube. You guys have made my day. Like I have just been so excited lately looking at all my analytics and just seeing how many views those videos have gotten and now just finally getting monetized. And it's just been so fun because I have been working really hard on YouTube since the end of July. So it took me about eight months to get monetized of making free content here on YouTube. And it was a lot of fun, but I'm telling you, when you get to the, when you get down to that like 800 mark and it's just slowly ticking up every day, it's just like, you feel like you're never gonna hit that 1000 mark. And then all of a sudden guys, that series just pushed me over the edge and it just made me so excited and happy to finally hit over 1000 subscribers. So right now I'm right around 1200 and it just makes me so excited to have all of you here watching my channel. And guys, I'm just amazed because <laughs> I don't know why you want to watch me because I'm just a normal everyday person over here selling junk from the Goodwill outlet. But, um, I'm glad you are here and I'm glad you're watching my channel. So thank you so much. Today I have a haul for you. <laughs> so I went sourcing at the Goodwill outlet for my subscribers. So if you're watching this video, you have the opportunity to potentially acquire one of these Goodwill outlet mystery boxes. So I'm going to give more details about how you could potentially get one of these mystery boxes at the end of the video. Um, this is time sensitive, so you're going to want to make sure that you jump on this as soon as possible. Um, I'm not sure how it's all going to go down because I've never done anything like this before, but I, I just wanted to give back in some way that I could. So what I did is I went to the Goodwill outlet and I spent, um, about $50. So that's like five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, it's about 40 pounds worth of clothing. So I got about 40 pounds worth of clothing for around $50 and I have been wanting to do a giveaway and I thought about it for a really long time and I thought what is more on brand for my channel than giving away stuff from the Goodwill outlet. So if this is not your cup of tea and you don't want a Goodwill outlet box, that's fine. I will not be offended. Um, if you want to watch just for kicks, that's fine too. If you want, if you want to get one of these boxes, that would be wonderful. But if not, I won't be offended. So I'm going to show you what's in these boxes and then I'll give more details about how you could potentially get one at the end. Okay guys. So I felt like this day was so good. Like I just felt like I found so many good things at the bins on this particular day and every one of these boxes. Okay most of these boxes have new with tags items in them. So when one rotation happened, I was placed, I got in front of a bin that had a ton of new with tag stuff. And let me tell you, I was digging and I was grabbing and I was shoving in my bag and I got a lot of new with tag stuff. So I tried to put as many new with tags things as I could in these boxes. So that way they were spread out. So anyway, let's get into it and I'll show you what I got. And I'll kind of tell you a little bit about how much I think I could get for each of these items. And let me tell you guys, some of this stuff I really, really, really wanted to keep. I was so tempted, but I decided to give it to you guys. Now, full disclosure, there is one thing I kept for myself, um, as well as some stained items, because I didn't think y'all would want some stained items. Um, I will show you those at the end if you want to stick around to see the things I kept for myself. Um, as well as the stained items. Let's get into the haul. Okay, so this first box has, is stuffed to the brim. So all of these boxes weigh just a little over four pounds or like four and a half pounds. So that is kind of the weight there. So yeah, okay. This first dress is a bar three dress. I think it's a Nordstrom brand, but I'm not positive. But anyway, it is new with tags. Um, it looks like, no, it looks like it was a Dillard's brand because this looks like the Dillard's tag, but it says it was originally $79.50. So yeah, you'd have to peel off these retail tags to kind of make it look good for your buyers, but I'll leave that on there for y'all to do. I'm also just leaving all the tags on guys and I'm leaving the lint rolling to you and the washing and all the things. So just keep that in mind if you decide to get one of these mystery boxes. Okay. It's this really cute dress. It's asymmetrical. It has like this little detailing on it and it's like this gray fabric. Um, it's really pretty and it has this ruching detailing there. I think this would go for around 20 to 
Okay, next is this cute little Matilda Jane dress. I love selling Matilda Jane. Now this does have some wash wear to it, but it does, it's just so cute. And I've always sold this brand every other time I've picked it up. So it's got like some rickrack, some detailing on it, and it is a kid's size 10. It looks like it's a little shirt or like a um, tunic style dress. Okay, next in this box is this adorable little dress. It's from BCBG Generation. I don't always pick up this brand. I pick it up based on style if I do find it. And I thought this style was really cute. It has polka dots, it has pockets, it has like this ruching shirring um, in the back. And I just thought it was really, really cute and timely for spring. So that's why I picked it up. And I think this would go for around 20 bucks too. I picked up an L.L. Bean jacket or sweater. It's a men's extra large. I think this is the only men's item I picked up. So if you want men's items, <laughs> this is it. Um, it does need some lint rolling, but I did look this up and they seem to be going for $25 to $30. Next is this really pretty Intimates by Lane Bryant top. It looks like it could be like a little robe or um, a nightie, but... It could be worn as a shirt. It could be worn as outerwear too. I'm not really sure how you would wear this, but there's the tag and it definitely looks like an older Lane Bryant tag. I don't know if it would be vintage yet, but I just thought the style was so cute. So I'm thinking like 20 to $25 on that. Last but not least is this really pretty scarf. Um, I don't know, there's no brand labels on this scarf, but it feels quality. It, it just feels so soft, like a cashmere and wool. Yeah, but there's no markings on it, y'all. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like Burberry or something I'm throwing in there. But it is a very nice quality scarf, but there's no markings on it. So with no markings, you could probably get around 15 to 20 for this. Um, if you could find out some details about what brand it is, you could probably get more, but I, I just don't know what brand it is. So if y'all y'all know, let me know. <laughs> All right, so this box right here, we're looking at about 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we're looking about like $100 potential profit right here in this box. Okay, let's check out the next box. Okay, first I threw in a vintage item and I did try to throw in at least one vintage item in each box. That box had that Lane Bryant piece, which I thought looked vintage. This box, we're starting right off with a very cute little nighty. This you could tag as like cottage core or grandma core. Vintage nighties always sell for me. This is probably like a 15 to $20 sale. There is no size tag on it, so you'd wanna provide measurements. I would probably mark this as a medium to large, but it's just a really cute print, definitely vintage. Okay, this I picked up based on style and I just think it is so cute and it has my name in it So how could I not the brand is Chelsea and Violet? Um, this brand doesn't go for a ton. It's probably only gonna sell for 20 to $25, but the style of it is just adorable I love this tassel detailing. I love this print y'all if this was my size I would be kidnapping it. So just a cute little blazer perfect for work or for a night out all right, next we have an Orvis top. Okay, so this is not new with tags, but it does still have the buttons on it. And this print is just so good. It's like this woodland print with all of these ferns and outdoorsy thing. And then it has like a contrasting paisley sleeve. But yeah, it's new without tags for sure. And this would probably go for around $20 as well. Okay, this I picked up because of the print, which is so unique. So this one's getting two, two vintage items in it. The brand is Air in London and it looks to be like 80s or 90s, but it just has like this safari theme print on it, guys. And this is just so fun. This would be a piece that I would recommend modeling if you can, just because it's so unique or definitely putting on a mannequin to show some shape to it. But it's got this giraffe on it and then like just this animal print and the palm leaves. It's just so good. And I think, oh, and it has shoulder pads. So I think this is a winner. I'd say 25 to $35 on it. All right, next is this really cute Talbot's blazer. It feels like it's linen blend. Um, let me check. This also has the buttons attached to it. So it's like new without tags, guys. It is in perfect condition. It is 100% linen. That's why I picked it up is I liked the feel of it. This would be another piece that would be great to model if possible. It'd still look good on a mannequin. I just feel like blazers look better if they're modeled or on a mannequin so they have some shape. But I mean, if you steam this puppy out, it would still look good hanging. But um, I like how the sleeves are cuffed like that. I would definitely, I think, model it that way or show it that way. But it has like major vintage vibes to it. It's like this really pretty orange color. I love it. Okay, so potentially about 80 to $100 profit in this box. 
20, 40, 50, 60, 70, about 80 to a hundred dollars in there. Okay. Let's check out the next one. Okay. This box I was really excited about because this first piece is something I have sold, um, something similar to in the past. This is a fantastic beasts dress limited edition item by hot topic. Now I have sold a movie collab with hot topic dresses before, and they normally like fly out of my closet, um, for around $25. Um, this one is in like literally perfect condition. I have not found any flaws with it, but you know, when you get under that photography lighting, sometimes you notice some flaws. I'm not promising these pieces are going to be flaws for you guys. Um, I can't tell you how many times I think something has no flaws and then I get under the photography light and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a flaw. So anyway, really cute little dress. It's got this little tie detailing here. That neckline is adorable. Zip back. It has pockets. So I'm thinking 25 to $30. I did not look up comps on this. I just trusted my gut because I have sold dresses um, similar to this, like collab dresses in the past. And this just looks like a really good style. Okay, this is a new with tags item here. This is a Brighton bag and it says love on it. It's like a canvas tote bag. So I looked these up really fast and just like, I think I used Google lens and look it up really fast. And I saw sold around $30 for similar style bags. So that is a good comp if you ask me for Goodwill outlet prices. Okay, this next piece I picked up because it's linen and we are approaching the season when linen is just a thing that sells really well for me. So this is J Jill Love Linen and I think that is a good J Jill brand to pick up. Um, the linen line of J Jill. But anyway, this definitely needs to be steamed. It is button front and it just has a really nice texture to it. Perfect for spring and summer. I'd say this would sell around $20, 15 to $20. Okay. I picked these up. Um, actually <laughs> these were given to me by my sister-in-law, but I threw them in here because I needed one more item to make this box weigh a little bit more, but these are just some loft modern skinny, just good bread and butter item. I'd say 15 to $25 on these. Um, just really good basic jeans. Okay. This next item I threw in this box because I felt like there was already a lot of value in this box. And honestly, this item I did not mean to grab from the bins. So I just, it is still cute, but I, I don't know that this brand, I've never sold this brand before. I don't have experience with it, but it did retail for $159. It's democracy, but this was sold at Marshall's and it was clearance down to $29. It's just like an evening gown dress, which, um, it's just like this bright green color. I, I wouldn't, I don't know. I, I feel like you'd get like $25 for this, but, um, this was a, a mistake of a buy, but I put it in this box because it does have another new with tags item in it already that I know will sell for 30 plus dollars. Okay. Let's move on to the next box. Are you guys liking this so far? I hope so. Please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to add you here to my friend group. Okay, so this next item, guys, I wanted to keep so, so bad. Can you see what that is? Do you see it? I wanted to keep this so bad because I don't find this brand very often, let alone new with tags. So this is a Vineyard Vines top, y'all and it retailed for $128. It was reduced to $59, which is still crazy. And yeah, new with tags. And it's just this really cute blouse. Like it's like a peasant style top and it has this embroidery detailing in it. And it's just so pretty. So Vineyard Vines guys is a really good brand to resell. This should go for at least $30 I'm guessing. Okay. Bread and butter item here. This is just a loft top. I picked it up because of the style. It's like this peasant style top with these poet style sleeves. Really cute. Yes, may I help you? My husband's over there mocking me. He's making faces at me. He's home today because of Easter. All right, next is this White House Black Market dress. It's a 10 petite and it's like this linen-y type fabric with this really pretty lace um, detailing at the, at the hem. And yeah, I just think it's a really cute style. And White House Black Market does well for me, guys. Um, be careful. Do not use stock photos from White House Black Market on eBay. Just don't. You can use it on Poshmark and get away with it sometimes, but not on eBay. Anyway, this should sell for around $30 is just my guess. Okay, this is a new to me brand. Oh my goodness. Hold on a second. This box has two new with tags items in it. Did you just see that? Okay, 
Okay, so this box has two new tags items in it, guys. So it has a Talbot's top in here. It's just a button front, pretty basic style top. Um, if I didn't sell this myself, I would send it into Flip or Close Mentor and get like three to fifteen dollars for it. But I still think it would sell on Poshmark for around ten to fifteen. But I just got it because it's new with tags, so it, it holds its retail value. Really cute style and Talbot's, honestly, guys, I feel like is underrated. It's a good quality brand. I always pick up robes when I see them and this robe I liked especially because it has that tied in strap to it. So it came with the strap. Um, it's a Morgan Taylor Intimates robe and it's just polka dot. It's an extra large. Um, these always sell well for me. I always put them on my mannequin so they show off really nice. This has pockets. It's a pretty color. It's a good size. Should sell for around $15 to $20. Okay, someone in this bundle is going to get a vintage scarf. So this brand is Chalice. I've never heard of it, but I just liked the style of this scarf. I thought it was really pretty and feminine and dainty. The way I sell these well is I, I model them or I put them on my mannequin and I tie them really cute. And I try to get a close up of the fabric on one side of the listing to kind of help it move. And this will sell for around $10, but it's so lightweight that it's kind of like a freebie in this box. Okay, next is this hot cotton woman top. I've sold this brand in the past. It does well for me. It's a linen cotton blend. It's made in the USA. Those are both good things to put in the listing. It's like this floral Hawaiian print. And I would say this should go for around 20 to $25. Really cute style. All right, we're making headway here. I got two more clothing boxes and then I've got some shoes to show you guys. And I have some really good shoes to give away. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned to the end if you want to see those shoes and find out how you can get one of these boxes. Okay. First is this new with tags, a black label by Chico's little cardigan. This retailed for $169. So this is like a really cute, um, almost like lag and look boho type style open front. It is, it feels like linen. Let me see. Yeah, it's 100% linen. If you steam this puppy up, it would look so cute modeled or on a mannequin or it's just, it's really cute. Flat lay it really nice, really cute little top there. Okay, here is the other Brighton bag. So this is, I think just like the other one, except for this one does not have the tags. So maybe 25 to 30 on this one, but um, yeah, really cute little bag there, canvas bag. It'd be good for carrying packages to the post office. Um, there is one little mark here, but I feel like it would come out easily. See that one little mark there, but I just feel like a little soap and water. You scrub that right out of there. Okay. Next are these Land's End pants. They're the mid-rise pull-on skinny jean. Um, I do like selling Land's End, especially when there is a name, like a style name to these. These should probably go for to like 20 to $30. I did not look them up, but I have done well with Land's End. Like, especially that comfort waistband, I feel like should do well. Okay, next, this is, this is the vintage piece in this box. Um, I just picked this up because the embroidery I felt like was so good. It has like this floral embroidery. Actually, one of my friends at the bins gave me this. He had it and I complimented it. I said, that is so fun. And then he's like, do you want it? I was like, heck yes. Okay, so this is a Chico's size one. Um, and you, that is an older Chico's label. So probably late 90s, early 2000s. But it's just a really pretty style. And it's almost like that chore jacket style. So I'd probably use that keyword in there. It has these like really ornate metal buttons and just very pretty embroidery. So I really liked that piece. I was excited about that one. Another vintage piece. Now this one, um, I debated putting in these boxes, but, um, I just figured it's only a couple ounces. If whoever gets this doesn't want to sell it, they can redonate it. So, you know, okay. So the brand on this is Dina and it's a vintage rope and it has these pretty lace sleeves and it's just really cute and someone could wear this as like an open front duster or kimono but it is missing the tie waistline and that's why i debated whether or not i should put it in here um maybe i'll include like a ribbon because sometimes i do that when i sell these i have a bunch of ribbon and i'll just like cut off a big piece and then just tell the buyer like i've included a ribbon with it tie it in the picture but then just say that it is missing the tie waist but it is really cute. It could be worn as a, like a duster. Okay, let's keep going. All right, one more clothing box and then I'm gonna show you the shoes that I got and they are really good guys. Okay, 
So first on the top of this box is just a Tory Burch bag. And you're thinking, what the heck? Why would you include a Tory Burch bag? I sell these guys. I put them in my four for 25 sale. I've had people buy them outright for $10 before on Poshmark plus shipping, which is crazy. So it's like you're paying $17 for a dust bag. But it's also good to have as a reseller. If you ever pick up something that's Tory Burch from the thrift store, you can throw it in this bag and then your buyer feels really fancy when they get it. Like um, they're getting special treatment. So anyway, they're just good to have. Okay, next is another new with tag chico's black label top this retailed for i don't know how much because the retailer price has been taken off bummer but it has like that free people vibe to it um it's just like really open front boho and i love this lace detailing here lace detailing down the back it's kind of like one of those like one size type things but it's a small medium so it's just like that oversized really flowy fit really cute top and um it's like this almost like cheesecloth style fabric I would guess you could probably get 25 to 30 for that. Okay, this is another vintage piece for this bundle. And the brand on this is X, X more, Dimmer Skimmer. That's what it says, Dinner, Dimmer Skimmer. <laughs> okay, it's got like a zip back. And then this little collar, I just feel like is so cute. It kind of makes me think like it's, I don't know, 60s or 70s, but then again, it's not a metal zipper. So I'm not exactly sure how old this is. If you know, comment down below, help a girl out. But I just feel like this would even be cute with these pants that I'm wearing tucked in with some trousers, but it's just like a really cute top. It does feel like it's a polyester blend, but yeah, I just picked it up based on style. I really liked the style of that particular top. Okay, this next piece I also picked up based on style and it is Tapestries by Hawaii from Hawaii it's a size medium made in the USA and I just picked it up based on style and the fact that it feels like it's 100% linen it feels like it I don't know that it says it doesn't say what the fabric is but it definitely feels like linen and the style of this dress guys is just so cute look at that it kind of reminds me of a flax dress um it's that same style it has like pockets in the front it's just a really pretty dress and linen um you see how it almost looks like there's pilling on it? That's really common with li with linen. Um, a lot of times I'll just put in the description, not perfect linen. Like it's just not perfect. Linen is not usually perfect. It just has a texture to it, um, but it's not flawed. That's just how linen is sometimes. So really pretty dress. I just, I'd expect to get like $30 for that. Ooh, another new with tax piece in this box. How about that? So this is a Lucky brand and it retailed for $49. I would expect to get maybe 20 to 25 dollars for it it's a good bundling piece for poshmark lucky brand tops don't always do the best for me but i just can't pass up a new attacks piece by lucky brand and i like this style myself man if this was my size i would totally keep it i am someone who shops for lucky brand on poshmark so there are people out there who really like that okay this bundle has a lot of pieces in it because there was some lightweight stuff in it so it just keeps on going. All right, this is a Talbot size medium, and I picked this up based on style. It has these really pretty bell ruffle sleeves. It's striped, and it has a little keyhole back, and I just picked it up because the style was so cute. It's a size medium. Um, if whoever buys this box is a size medium, they're gonna get a lot of good pieces that they might be tempted to keep. Okay, next is this Cuddle Knit Acrylic Made in the USA top, and look at all of that detailing on it. I just love the knit. I just thought it was so pretty. Totally gives me like cottage core vibes, grandma core. It's vintage. It's just really precious and sweet. And I think it's a great addition to anyone who loves vintage fashions wardrobe because it's like a basic, perfect for spring and summer. Okay, this next piece is from White House Black Market. It's a size zero. And it's just this really cute jacket with all of this pleating in it. It's kind of like a moto style jacket. Um, it's a small size for sure. So it might take a bit longer to sell, but I mean, there's gonna be some small girl out there who wants to rock something this cute. I'd say 25 to $35 on this. I really love the style of that one. Okay guys, let's get on to the shoes. And I will tell you, I was very tempted to keep these for myself. But when I was doing the mystery boxes, I thought I had eight boxes of clothes. And I was thinking, okay, well, then I can keep the shoes for myself. <laughs> well, then I weighed the boxes and I realized that they were underweight, even though they looked overflowing. So I, I made sure all the boxes weighed at least like four and a half pounds. And so I did decide to do the shoes too, guys. And I think you're going to be really excited about these shoes. Okay, so the shoes. Um, if you get a shoe mystery box, you're literally just getting the shoes. 
that's it because <laughs> they're heavy they, these probably weigh three and a half pounds so not quite the four and a half pounds but i think you'll find it worth your money okay so these shoes are fry these are some fry boots and they are in pretty good condition now they're not perfect they definitely need to be cleaned up um it's got some like discoloring here it's got somewhere on the bottom there's the fry logo right there um also i did notice that this see how the glue is kind of like coming loose a little bit right there they need to be like re-glued down i just want to be like full disclosure here i don't want anyone being surprised if they get this um there's a logo on the inside so they are real fry they just feel like really good quality boots but if you have like shoe glue or something you might want to like re-glue that part so they're not perfect but it's just this one shoe the other shoe is in like I, I played with the heel and it feels like it's all secure and then there's like a little dent in the toe if y'all don't want this you know you don't have to get them i just i figured i would offer them in my mystery boxes and if if they're not wanted then i will keep them and sell them myself because that that was my intention when i got them <laughs> was to sell them myself okay these ones are in good condition and yeah they are a size nine so if anyone is a size nine and really wants these you can snatch them up okay last and then i will tell you the details on how you can get one of these mystery boxes these are some like moto combat style boots they're you know a pair and i think these are women's but i haven't confirmed yet they're eight and a half they feel like women's they're they're made in the usa they look to be like older vintage but the brand is double h brand made in the usa now these guys had really good comps they look like they're going from anywhere from 50 to 80 dollars so yeah um i did really quick comps so you'll definitely make your money back on these if you buy that box heavy shoes okay so these mystery boxes the way that you can get them is i'm going to put the links down in the description and i'm going to have these listed on poshmark for 25 dollars however if you've made it to the end of this video you get to hear the secret you can offer me three dollars for these mystery boxes and i will accept so you're just going to be paying shipping plus three dollars and you can get these mystery boxes which is really really close to goodwill outlet prices so i wanted to give back for those of you who said that you just don't get to the goodwill outlet very often or you have kids at home or you're just really busy or you don't live close to a goodwill outlet so i wanted to source for you so you could get a good deal too so that shipping price plus $3 was the best way that I could find to get you these mystery boxes. Um, if I was rich, guys, I would ship this all to you for free. But um, I could really only afford to do about a $50 giveaway. So I hope you guys appreciate this and you jump on these boxes and snatch them up really quick. Um, if not, I will gladly sell this stuff myself because I am excited about everything that I found. But I would really love to see you guys get these. And tag me on Instagram when something sells. I would love to keep up with you guys and see how these boxes are selling for you. Let me know what you like, what you got. But um, just know that these things are not perfect condition. I'm not promising that they're gonna be like wonderful top quality items. You may have some small discolorations you may come across. There may be some wash wear, you know, there may be um, a stain that I missed or a little rip or tear. Guys, that happens when I source the Goodwill outlet for myself. I'm gonna like very carefully look through these one more time. Okay, so I got cut off again, but I was just giving my little disclaimer there at the end, just saying that these items may not be perfect but I'm doing the best I can. And I really want to make sure that you guys um, make your money back on these boxes. And I really feel like there's room for profit in each of these boxes. Um, it should be around a little under $10 for each of these boxes with shipping and then the whole $3 I'm charging you. So I feel like there's room for profit in every single one of these boxes. So if you're interested, head on over to my Poshmark closet. I'll put the links down below so you can grab one of these. And if this goes across really well and you guys really enjoy this, um, maybe I'll do it again when I hit 2,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate having you here in my friend group. And thank you so much for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you could comment down below with some video suggestions for me. I am totally open to suggestions and I want to hear what you guys want um, as far as content from me. Also, if you wouldn't mind just saying like when you became a subscriber, um, let me know have you been here since the beginning are you a new subscriber introduce yourself i would love to meet you so 
introduce yourself, let me know how long you've been here and leave me a video idea. I would absolutely love it if you would do that. I also told you here at the end of the video, I would show you what I decided to keep for myself. Guys, this has been on my, um, like, I guess, I wouldn't call it a bolo list, but something I've been hunting for for a really long time. So I'm super excited about this. Ah, I found a quilted jacket and it literally, guys, looks like a quilt. It is wonderful and gorgeous and I absolutely love it. So this was definitely handmade. It's like somebody took a sweater because it has like this weird embroidery. It says, where's the, where's the beach? <laughs> in it and it has like something embroidered looks like a, a santa so it has something embroidered in it but um the outside is this beautiful quilt jacket and i i don't know guys i've just wanting, been wanting to find one of these to sell myself for a really long time so since i was the one making the rules for how this whole mystery box thing worked i figured i could just keep this for myself all right so the other items that are stained i'll show you in my next haul because um they're in the laundry room right now so i'll i'll get those for you later to show you in my next haul so stay tuned if you want to see this okay Bye. <laughs>